Bluetooth pairing. Bluetooth connected. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Maisha Chantel. I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. But if you're returning, you already know you're an OG. You're officially part of the family. What's good? What's popping? Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Turn on those post notifications. And just like and interact with my videos because it helps YouTube show my videos to a bigger crowd. Okay, so... Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, I have no work. I have no school. So your girl had a late start this morning. Um, <clears throat> it's probably like 1 o'clock, honestly. Um, if you don't know, I stayed in Atlanta, Georgia. And we technically had like a winter storm. It snowed over the weekend, but it didn't stick. And I think it's normal. Um, I haven't been out since Saturday, honestly. Sunday no Sunday morning but yes like I said I had a late start this morning just wanted to sleep in watch some TV before I actually get my day started um, I'm technically supposed to have lab today but since it's a holiday there's no lab so I do have class tomorrow you guys are gonna be coming with me another week in the life of a nursing student I have class tomorrow I start my mental health clinical rotation on Wednesday it starts from 6 30 to 3 p.m. oh y'all pray for me um and then yeah that will be done with as far as school but I do have my first mental health test February the 1st the day before my birthday <laughs> and then I have my first adult health um, test the week after, like February the 8th. So I'm just going to be preparing for that type of stuff. And... <laughs>
just finished whatever I was doing for class tomorrow and I already ate, I ate some chicken alfredo but y'all I'm cramping so bad like so so bad so I'm just about to get in my bed and it's only six o'clock but yeah my stomach hurts so bad like the cramps are just like ripping my ovaries apart but um, I have class in the morning. My mental health class is counseled. I only have um, adult health, which is mentor. So from nine to 12. So I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey y'all, good morning. It's um, Tuesday morning. What time is it? Let's see. It's 8.02. Um, I'm about to get ready and making me some coffee for class. They didn't have the K pod, so I just got this. Okay, yeah, they didn't have the K pod, so I just got this old coffee donut. But yeah, I just had mental health. I didn't have mental health, but. Um, Adult help today, which is like I said, is med surge, and it's from nine to nine thirty to twelve. Cause we were supposed to have our dos dosage count today. If you didn't pass on last Tuesday, you will have it today. But yeah. And then I got me some breakfast yogurt and granola, but I'm about to put some bananas in there. Jesus Christ, come on out. I think it's on his last leg. my adult health lecture and it was over um skin and well integumentary assessment your skin we went over burns um we went over skin lesions like that type of stuff and I actually took notes on my ipad for the very first time um with the powerpoints and i think i'm i think i like that style better than the paper um i use notability which was very very helpful but i think i'm gonna still do somewhat paper uh we went over three chapters today um we have no mental health lecture so but she do want us to read the chapters that we're supposed to went over today in class and the ones for next week that we have um i do have my mental health clinical rotation that starts tomorrow from 6 30 until 3 p.m so probably going to get up around 5 a.m because it's roughly 30 minutes away from my house and so i know for a fact i gotta leave by 6 5 45 
because <laughs> you never know when there's traffic or if I want to stop and get some breakfast or whatever. So I'm just about to go home um, and then just probably transfer my notes from my iPad to like the to the book part, well, to the PowerPoint part. Yeah. These people, they can't drive up here for real. Hopefully, but yeah. So, the lecture went good today. Okay, so I just arrived at my clinical rotation site. It's um, Piedmont Eastside Medical Center. Um, it's the mental health rotation. It starts at 6.30, but it's 6.15. I wanted to come a little earlier because he said we're meeting in a lobby, but I'm trying to figure out, like, what lobby? <laughs> like, the ER lobby, the just the main floor lobby? Like, it doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh, this car, why would you? Yeah, this car just pulled in front of me and the lights are so bright. Jesus Christ, thank God they turned them off. But um, yeah, I'm just here early about to put on my shit. I'm ready for this mental health clinical, ready to see how it is, hopefully, you know. We only have three, so I'll be done with this one. I'm um, February the second. Day of my birthday is my last clinical rotation. I don't I don't know why we just have three, but we just have three. But that's you know none of my business. Anywho, let me go ahead and go in the lobby. Hopefully some of my classmates are there. Hey guys, so let me scoot back. Hey guys, so I just finished my first mental health clinical rotation. It was really fun. I was like, uh, I'm super excited about this rotation, even though it's only three technical in person clinical rotations. But I don't think I'll be going into psychiatric nursing at all. Um, I don't think it's my specialty that I want to go into. It's not my vibe. I did a vibe check today and it did not pass the vibe check. Honestly, it does take just experiencing that today. It takes a certain individual to deal with psychiatric patients. It takes someone that is loving, someone that is caring. I'm not saying I'm not loving or caring, but I'm loving and caring to a certain point. But with dealing with psychiatric patients, that's their cognitive, their mental status is all disoriented. And I just feel like there are certain individuals that are made for psychiatric nursing. And Maisha Chantel Brown is not. But um, I was supposed to have two patients today, but I only had one patient today just because he was receiving a ECT, which is electroconvulsion therapy. Um, don't know what it means exactly, so I'm not going to get on here and tell you what it means, but I'm going to look it up once I get in my apartment. He had dementia and some behavioral disturbances, which... <sighs> I kind of seen the dementia a little bit today. I mean, he he was oriented times two. Like he knew his name. He he knew the time. He he knew where he was at. He knew he was at a hospital, but he didn't know which hospital he was at. Um, he kept asking like, "What procedure did they do on him?" So he knew he had a procedure. But it technically wasn't a procedure. Like, he thought he had surgery or something. And we were like, no, it was just therapy. And he was just like, okay. So, he he's very alert. and But he was a little 
disoriented and confused at some points, but he was like the sweetest, the cutest patient of mine. Like he was just so sweet and so cute and adorable. Um, for him to have dementia, we we did have this. He wasn't my patient. He was just a patient in general. We had this one patient that was like kind of bothering him, and my patient needed to go um get some to get hydrated because in mental health uh, well on mental health floors there's no ivs in them nothing like because they can harm themselves they are not even trash cans or trash bags because they can use those trash cans or trash bags to harm themselves or harm harm someone else so everything is like anything that can harm a patient or themselves is out of there like they only have a tv and the um group room we can't even bring our stethoscopes in because a risk of injury and so it was one of the other patients he was in his wheelchair he was getting ready to go this man gonna stand in front of my patient (laughs) and he was like nurse (laughs) if you don't come and get this man and y'all I had to hold my laugh in because I was just like my patient was so serious and that's how I know he was oriented because he knows what's going on and how I know he was a little disoriented because this man said he had 40 um grandkids and kids and he had five wives he only had one wife and I don't think he got that many grandkids I don't know how many kids they have but he only has one wife or had one wife, like, and so, but yeah, today was a good day, but I'm about to just go upstairs to my apartment, I'm about to document, since it's still fresh on my mind, and then after I document, I'm probably gonna take a shower, eat some dinner, and then start reading some of... (sighs) need to take a nap because I gotta work tomorrow um start reading some of the chapters but yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update of my first mental health clinical rotation it was good hey babe so um so today is Thursday I'm on my way to work I have to be there at 8 30 um the bank is open from 9 to 5 and Typically, I'm off the latest by 5.30, sometimes 6 o'clock, depending on how busy we are and, you know, there's rush hour traffic. So, sometimes I don't get home between 6 to 6.30, 7 o'clock if I get off at 6. But, I am tired. Y'all, I'm so tired. I finished my docu care that I needed to finish yesterday after my clinical rotation. Um, so today, hopefully, since it's raining, hopefully it's not going to be a busy day. Hopefully it's like really slow, meaning that I can get some schoolwork done in the eight hours that I'm at work. You know, that's wasted time. If we're not busy, I could be doing some schoolwork. Um, let's see what else. And after I get off of work, I'm my head itching. I'm going to just come back home, do some studying, do some reading, do some stuff with school because I do work um, Friday as well, and then I work Saturday half a day. So. I definitely have to be on my P's and Q's this semester if I'm going to try to work. But just give me all a little update. And I forgot to record. I don't know if I just said this already, but I forgot to record the document when I was doing my document notes yesterday.
meditation for tonight it's 7 15 I'm about to just read some of my mental health and then do my mental health notes for chapter one and two since we didn't have lecture today at night <sighs> excuse me but I'm finishing my mental health notes up for chapter 1 and chapter 2 um, I don't want to get behind and so I, before I went to sleep tonight I wanted to make sure I'm finishing this up but yeah Thank you guys for tuning in to my YouTube video. If you like this video, just make sure you hit that like button below. Comment on my video. 